What's happening, y'all? What's going on, man? So check this out, man. I was scrolling through Twitter, and I see that Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter is in advanced talks for a rematch. So we're going to chop it up about this. So first of all, y'all hit that like button. I'll give y'all some time to hit the like button. And subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already. Now look, man. Like I said, I was scrolling down Twitter or whatever, and I see an article that they are in advanced talks. Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter. And I just want to say, uh, shit, fuck it. Might as well. What shit? Why not? They might as well get it in, bro. You can't tell me, right? That y'all sitting back and y'all see all this big shit going on, right? Or the top guy or the top guy in the division, Earl Spence fight Manny Pacquiao, right? And we all know, we all should know that that's the biggest fight in boxing. So. You can't tell me that you in a division and you don't look at that like, man, what the fuck, man? I need a big fight too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should be looking like that. Like, put the ego to the side and everything. Like, And you should want that for yourself anyways. I mean, the bigger the fight, the bigger the bag. And we all know how that goes. So, you know, everybody got people to feed. So, if you see them guys over there doing their thing, right? Sean Porter couldn't get the fight with with, with uh, Terrence Crawford and Keith Thurman claimed that he can't get a big they won't get him a big enough bag which I believe so who else is it you know what I'm saying unless one of you niggas want to give Ju Boots Jerron Ennis a shot yeah. <laughs> unless one of y'all gonna do that and I know that ain't happening cause that's a big ass risk that that young nigga can get a name off whooping one of y'all ass. Because he on the come up and the reward ain't that big. You know, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Well, it's supposed to be the bigger the risk, the uh, risk, the bigger the reward. But in this case, it's a bigger risk and a lower reward. So we know that fight ain't going to happen. That just made all the sense in the world. Them niggas ain't going to give Jerron Ennis a shot no time soon until Jerron Ennis make a huge buzz and and force one of these guys to fight him or whatever. But besides that, back to the point, Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter is a hell of a fight, man. It was a hell of a fight the first time. The shit did like $4 million on PBC on Fox. So I, I think it should go right back. Right back on Fox or whatever. If Showtime don't try to get it. But I think they should be on Fox. Because that's where they can maximize their number. Uh, so yeah. Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter man. I, I got to say. I got to say this right out the gate. I'm picking Sean. <laughs> I'm picking Sean Porter. I'm picking him this time. Because of so many reasons man. One of the reasons is. I believe that Sean Porter. Has gotten better since the fight with Keith Thurman. I look at it like a scale. Sean Porter has gotten better, but Keith Thurman has declined in my eyes. I think Keith Thurman declined, man. If he ain't declined, then he ain't progressed either. So if you ain't progressing, then you declining. You know what I'm saying? In a real nigga mind, a mind like mine, that's how I think. If you ain't progressing, you ain't bossing up every year or doing whatever it is you do, you know what I'm saying? Then, if you ain't going up every year, then you declining, bro, period. Even if you still, because stagnant, if you if you still stagnant, you ain't doing shit, then you declining, nigga, period. You not living to the maximum of your potential, and that's what Keith Thurman ain't doing. He ain't did shit since he fought Pacquiao. And before he fought Pacquiao, he got hurt by Jose Lopez. And before Jose Lopez, he was off for two years, fought them two guys, Jose and Pacquiao. And then another fucking two years. And you telling me that you finna come back and fight 
Sean Porter and beat him? Nah, bro. He gonna have to show me. <laughs> I was just arguing with my uncle on the phone about this shit. That's why I had to hurry up and make a video while I'm still hype about it, man. Uh, Keith Thurman gonna get his ass whooped, man. Because... Because of everything, goddamn me, everything I just said, he he, he was bullshitting too much. He ain't gonna beat, he ain't gonna beat him, man. He don't throw the punches. He don't even throw his punches the same. One of the things my uncle said when I was just arguing with him on the phone about this shit is, he said, man, I think Keith Thurman just got his number. He said, Keith Thurman, he gonna beat him like he beat him the first time. I said, man, Keith Thurman don't even throw the same type of punches. Like, the punches ain't got the same velocity like they had on them bitches. Like, he don't throw them the same. Like, he ain't the same, bro. I don't think Keith Thurman the same, man. And he too fucking fragile. You know what I'm saying? Sean Porter coming there punching that nigga in the elbow. And he gonna, he gonna fold. Yeah, and next thing you know, he gonna be talking about bone spurs and shit. He gonna have a bone spur in his ass. Sean Porter gonna hit him. And he gonna have a bone spur in his ass, bro. It's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he might come out with multiple of them motherfuckers. <laughs> man, for real, bro. Keith Thurman, a fucking goofball, man. He not being shy, man. And I'm not picking on him. I'm not picking him. And if any one of you niggas wanna bet, I bet. I'm willing to do a nice wager, fifty, hundred dollars, some shit like that, see, without. You know what I'm saying? Cause Sean Porter, man, he fought Earl Spence, bro. You think he ain't learn shit, or you know what I'm saying? After fighting somebody like Earl Spence and then going back to fight somebody like Keith Thurman, you gonna break him, man? Because you had to go, you had to fight for your life in that motherfucker with EJ. With Earl, Sean Porter had to fight for his life in there, bro. And now he going to fight a nigga like Keith Thurman? He going to smash him, man. He going to smash him, man. And from my knowledge, Sean ain't have uh, Larry Wade back when he fought Keith Thurman the first time. He ain't had Larry Wade from what I can uh, remember. He ain't have him. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Like I said, man, I feel like Sean Porter has gotten better. He's less. He he still kind of wild, but he he more effective with it. Like he his skills, you know what I'm saying, got better. He did, bro. He got better, bro. He got better since the first fight with Keith Thurman, and Keith Thurman didn't. Like I said, so that's how I see it, man. Uh, it's an article, man. I'm sure y'all gonna start seeing some videos drop soon about it. Uh, or, or some more articles where y'all gonna see it yourself or whatever. Uh, Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter is in advanced talks for a rematch. And I say, why not? Because it's too much big shit going on, man. The whole summer filled with big fights. So you gotta at least come with some. Some. Keith Thurman, come on now. Why would you come in this bitch with another tuna? <laughs> like, nigga, what? You gonna go with this motherfucker with a tuna? When niggas in this bitch making tens of millions, Earl and Pacquiao finna make fuck around 50 to 100 million. That's what they both finna make each. 50 to 100 million. Best believe, bro. If not more, you know, never know. You know what I'm saying? And, and you come around this bitch with a tune up and get like five, six million and shit. What type of shit is that? So I'm just saying, man. It is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button. Like the button. Like hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already, y'all. I'm out, man. That's all I got. I'm out, deuces.